Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. Differentiate x to the power of x and x to the 0 0.5 to the power of x to the 0 0.5. Okay, um, so I've seen problems like this before um, and it's uh, they're set up in such a way that implicit differentiation is a pretty straightforward approach here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through the steps of how to compute these straight away knowing that implicit differentiation is what I should be doing. So we'll start with the first one, x to the power of x. Uh, this tells me that the log of f of x is equal to x log x. And now I'll differentiate with respect to x. On the left, I get 1 divided by f of x. And by the chain rule, this gets multiplied by f prime x. And on the right, uh, using product rule, I get log x plus 1. Uh, so now I'm going to multiply through by f of x, which is x to the power of x. So this gives me x to the x log x plus x to the x. There we go. So I've done that, I've done that computation before a long time ago, uh, probably many times since then. Um, the other one though, the other function here, let's write that down. It's x to the power of a half, all raised to the power of x to the power of a half. Um, so I haven't done this one before, but uh, I'm just going to use the exact same approach and we'll have to just be careful to make sure that factors of a half and so on don't end up disappearing or anything like that. I'm going to do this directly, but there might be another clever way of doing this with some kind of substitution like u is equal to x to the power of a half. but um, I'm just going to do this directly. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to introduce any more complication. So after and some algebra and some simplifications and so on, this is the expression that I end up with. I don't know if there's a nicer way uh, of representing this, writing this down. Maybe there's some other simplifications we can do, um, but that's the answer. Thanks for watching.